Hey, I'm Aaron. Welcome to the Fortnite Hood $10 Costume Challenge. I'm going to be turning all of these items into a sweet shredder costume. You're going to need your own pair of black pants, a cardboard box, I disassembled mine already, I got two gray t-shirts that are at least close enough to being the same color that they could pass for the same shirt, four rolls of duct tape, mine came from the dollar store, but you can get them anywhere you like. The helmet was a toy helmet that I got at a thrift store, but they also sell them at the dollar store, and then a half of purple fabric. You also need four pencils, black socks, black shoes, and a black belt. I started off by cutting off the sleeves of the shirt. If you had a sleeveless shirt, that would be okay, but you do need one of the sleeves for later. The other shirt I cut into two panels that are the same width as the t-shirt. I duct tape these to a black leather belt, and this wraps around, making the top half of better costume. The cape which is what the purple fabric is for, is pretty much your uh, towel superhero cape that you had when you were a kid. I covered the top uh, two sides of mine just to give it a little bit more of a flowing effect. Every bit of the armor is pretty much uh, the exact same thing. I drew out a rough pattern and flipped it over to make an exact copy for the other side. Now, if you orient the cardboard in just the right way, it'll bend so it gives you the curves to fit your arms, legs, and shoulders. Once I cut out the pieces, I duct taped the top and the bottom, both sides, making sure it was plenty covered. And then I started cutting out the fins that go all over the costume. Now, the costume has 40 fins total. Make a template, cut them all out at the same time, because really this is one of the most time-consuming processes. Also, make sure that your fin is not wider than the duct tape, otherwise you're going to spend twice as long covering them. Now, if you put the fin in the duct tape, fold it over, and put your finger where they come together, you'll make sure that the tape doesn't stick to itself. You can cut around the fin, and then it will easily place on the uh, armor itself. Repeat this 40 times, and you'll have uh, a pretty decent set of armor. In order to make the armor stay on the cost itself, I use to just roll on my arms, my legs, and on my shoulders. If you are particularly hairy, this might not be a great option. You could also use elastic underneath if you wanted to. Now the hand pieces is just a piece of cardboard that's been uh, covered in duct tape. I took some pencils and rolled them up. You could use straws if you wanted to. I taped them on top of the piece of cardboard. And then again, uh, this thing gets put around your hand. So there's your armor. It's all set. Now the helmet itself was quite a uh, I started with uh, this construction helmet and it had this giant brim on it so I cut it off with a Dremel tool and uh, once I had that I, I knew that I needed something to extend so I just made eight little triangles I attached them to the sides all the way around uh, using just amounts of duct tape uh, you'll see the trend continuing once I had this kind of thing going on, I started attaching them uh, on the inside for extra strength and then attaching them around the bottom to kind of pull it in together. Uh, this was very similar to a, a Darth Vader helmet or a Boba Fett helmet, if you've ever seen the, the cardboard Boba Fett helmet. Uh, the top piece, I needed to uh, make sure that it had a nice curve to it, so I went ahead and pre-curved that cardboard. Um, then the rest of this is really just building it up. Uh, layers of duct tape, uh, cardboard for, for the extra shape, and uh, making sure that you leave no spaces that are uncovered. So duct tape on the inside, duct tape on the outside, everywhere. The uh, fins on the helmet needed to stay down, so that's just a, another duct tape. Uh, one on the top, one on each side, and uh, it probably took me about two and a half hours to get the helmet all together, but it was also making it up as it went along. Uh, use the sleeve as your mask, and that's all you need for the costume. It's got a great silhouette to it, and honestly, I think that the costume turned out better than I even expected. Thanks for watching. Make sure you turn in, uh, tune in for the rest of the week. There'll be uh, other costumes all week long, and I'll see you in a fortnight.